teachers welcome back to our basic science class in the previous class we had started our lesson 5 sources of energy what are the characteristic features of a good stove do you remember yes a good stove produces maximum heat from the fuel used air passage should be smooth the heat produced should reach the vessel fully this helps to make cooking easier and to save fuel there should be provision for smoke to escape now let's start today's class look at this picture the number of vehicles in our streets are multiplying day by day so large amount of fuels are consuming for these vehicles daily this may lead to the shortage of diesel and petrol in future do you know what are the other reasons for the increase in the use of fuels they are population explosion increase in the number of vehicles increase in the use of vehicles use of fuels for other purposes that is construction activities generation of electricity agriculture etc look this is the picture of a petroleum refinery it is here that petrol diesel etc are separated from petroleum now observe these have you ever seen these anywhere this is solar panels and these are windmills do you know why it is important to use energy from these sources nowadays we have already discussed that petroleum is exhaustible it is included in conventional sources of energy let's study this in detail what is conventional energy source petroleum is formed from decayed living organisms buried deep under the earth for millions of years due to some natural phenomena coal is formed from plant remains these are called fossil fuels such fuels cannot be replenished once they get exhausted they are called conventional fuels in future conventional fuels will get exhausted if not judiciously used petroleum is mainly used to produce petrol diesel kerosene tar and lpg in addition it is used in the manufacture of many products like pesticides plastics and medicines so once again what are conventional fuels fuels which cannot be replenished once they get exhausted are called conventional fuels example petroleum products such as petrol diesel kerosene tar and lpg next what are non conventional energy sources renewable energy sources are also known as non conventional energy sources these are sources that are continuously replenished by natural processes for example solar energy wind energy sea waves that is tidal energy biomass energy etc so once again what are non conventional energy sources these are energy sources that are continuously replenished by natural processes example solar energy wind energy tidal energy biomass energy etc now look at these newspaper reports that were shown in your textbook solar panel replaced at the international space station ISRO launches bus using hydrogen as fuel Delhi wind power projects allotted more funds in the budget 
what are the possibilities of energy sources mentioned in the newspaper reports yes you are right energy sources like sunlight hydrogen and wind etc are mentioned here solar energy is the main source of energy in all artificial satellites hydrogen is used as fuel in rockets a number of wind energy power stations have been established in india what are the advantages of making maximum use of non conventional sources of energy for our needs yes the energy sources that will not run out are known as non conventional sources of energy biomass solar energy wind energy and tidal energy are some forms of non conventional sources of energy such sources won't cause environmental pollution now look at these pictures calculator solar street lamp solar heater and solar cooker are shown here all these devices work using energy from sunlight solar cell is a device which converts solar energy into electrical energy solar panels contain rows of solar cells these are rectangular panels made of silicon the advantages of solar energy are that it is inexhaustible and that it does not cause pollution lamps cookers water heaters and calculators working with solar energy are widely used nowadays next wind energy wind mills produce energy from wind the blades of the mill rotate by the power of wind this rotation leads to the working of the generator thus electricity is produced biogas is another renewable source of energy the source of biogas are shrubs farm waste animals and human waste the biogas plants using cattle dung are known as gobar gas plant in india next source of renewable energy is tidal energy tidal energy is produced from the surge and fall of the ocean water during tides it is used in the areas where the difference between the rise and fall of the water is large now let's recall the main points that we have learned today as first point conventional energy sources example petroleum products like petrol diesel kerosene tar and lpg second point non conventional energy sources example solar energy wind energy biogas tidal energy etc hope you all understood everything okay children have a nice day thank you